I'm here to make a review on the Echo One M4. Uh, I've had this gun for about six months now, maybe maybe longer. Uh, I've not ch changed it internally, but it's had external changes. Uh, the flash hider's been a Phantom flash hider, uh, Mad Bull Gemtech. Um, there's a um, I think this is a JLS um, bipod's uh, vertical grip. Um, overall, it's a great gun. It uh, it loses spring over time, uh, FPS for better uh, terminology. But uh, there's a little bit of a barrel wobble, as everybody has a problem with. But you can take off the delta ring and just kind of tighten it, and it'll be good. I did lose uh, the the sling swivel. The, about the first time I uh, I got it, and uh, that kind of sucked because I had a really really cruddy uh, really cruddy sling on it, and it just kind of busted on me. And ever since then, I've just kind of recon roped it, for lack of better words, on my uh, my Molly vest ACU, of course. Um, I would I would definitely recommend this gun. Uh, not only for uh, you know new new players, uh, you know I know a lot of people who've been playing who uh, you know they like they like uh, Echo One. They um, you know they upgrade it, which is a great uh, except for most TM uh, TM upgrades, CA upgrades too. Um, what is a real bitch to find is a rail for this thing because it does not accept. Um, TM rails, I believe. Well, well, the guy who had it had a P90 uh, rail, so we just kind of took it off. But um, I actually got this up at an op in uh, Harwood, Texas. Uh, a guy named Tony, good guy. He uh, he had this on his, and uh, he didn't really need it, so he just kind of gave it to me. But uh, yeah, so it does it does accept, you know. It, the other one didn't align with the with the holes in it, basically, and uh, it just had a problem with it. But um, one thing I did find out, because um, I got a classic army sport line laying around, and I was comparing the two. Um, I don't know if you can actually. It says you can take out the um, trigger guard right here. It says you can take it out, replace it. Um, I have not tried that. Um, it's very easy on the sport line. You just stick a little thing in there, pull it out, and it uh, flaps down for when you got uh, when you got gloves on, or you know it's cold cold weather glove, whether it be cold, cold weather or just basic shooting. Um, everything works on it. The uh, the bolt action works. Uh, you know your charging handle. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish the bolt locked back. Um, the front side did get a little uh, wobbly at a, at a point, but I had somebody fix that up. And uh, you get a lot of barrel barrel rust. This this I don't know what how good this you know material or you know whatever they use is, but uh, it rusts up pretty easy. Um, you know I've taken other guns out there and they don't really rust up that much. Um, it does accept like I said it does it does have a flash hider to it. And that works pretty well. That's the whole gun by itself. It's a bit front heavy since there's no. I'm trying to get a crane stock for it, but you know it's version three mech box, so I'd have to get a version two or find a way to rewire it, and I don't feel like it. But uh, overall, it's a great gun. Um, probably gonna end up buying another one. I heard Echo One is coming out with a Scar series. Uh, I don't know much about it. Just read it on a Milson magazine page that I found. And I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully they shoot hard and they make good products. Uh, Echo One's a great company. So, I don't know. It's a recommended buy in my book.